Boom, let's have this. It's your gist partner. What will artificial intelligence mean to the workplace? Artificial intelligence is transforming the workplace and the UK is at a sliding door moment. That was the warning issued by Institute of Public Policy Research early this year, 2024, as they published research envisaging a job apocalypse without significant government intervention. In the worst case scenario, 7.9 million jobs could be lost. Their analysis showed with no GDP gain, in the best case scenario, no jobs are lost and there is a 30% increase in GDP. The IPPR called for encouraged job argumentation, augmentation over food deplacement and to, regular, and to regulate areas like health to ensure human responsibilities of key issues. Such job argumentation could be positive, said Rogoski, as large language models like ChatGBT are now very good at writing. Structuring and summarizing, for example, are strong points. But human oversight is also very necessary. Without it, so-called efficiency gain can end up backfiring. Technologies designed to increase efficiency can often lead to advanced outcomes. Rogowski warned, take email for example, how many people are completely overloaded by their email inbox? You know when email was first brought to everyone, I thought, great, I don't have to write those physical memos anymore. Little did we realize that we will become slaves to it, and it hasn't, it hasn't saved work, it creates work. Sometimes the adoption of AI creates process collapse. People apply for job using AI writing application. Then employers screen this application with AI supported firewall. This creates a war of competence capacity capability. This creates a war of capabilities, which doesn't help employer or potential employee, and only succeed in adding complexity while driving up everyone's computers bill. We lose sight of something that should be an inherited human process for humans, by humans, Rogoskiske, we ought to be a bit more thoughtful about how we use and apply automation technology. And I felt that is very important. The idea of making up with technology to take over the place of human being could be devastating. We may think we are getting done faster, we are talking done easier, but we may be getting it wrong. Somebody write a CV through AI, somebody scan a CV through AI. After that, AI and AI are not going to work together. AI and human beings are going to work together. You got that person to employ fast, but it's not going to be AI that will fire that person. And it's not going to be AI that will suffer the side effect of hiring somebody who cannot even prepare a CV themselves. Talk less of preparing a business document for you. To prepare a business document now, AI does it. Does AI do the business runs? Does AI do the business runs? Can AI do the business runs? Can he make it happen? Can he make the document work out? Can he ensure teamwork and effectiveness? Can he ensure competency and diligence? That's the question.